This is Paul. I was just looking for the, uh, the civil rights. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, could you get me Title VI, the GAO audit? Yeah. Mm -hmm. The Comptroller General of the United States should conduct an audit. Mm -hmm. Of the expenditure of all funds appropriated for criminal records improvement pursuant to Section 106B of the Brady Handgun Violence Prevention Act. Yeah. Public Law 103-159. <laughs> 159. Yeah. You know, could you, I, I'm going to need a copy of all the public laws. Yeah. And see if anybody changed any of them. <laughs> yeah. Now, set out oh, uh, mm -hmm, uh, to determine yeah, if the funds were expended for the purposes authorized by the Act. <laughs> and how those funds were expended for those purposes or whether uh, were otherwise expended. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, that's, that's kind of an odd wording. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As if this, uh, this Comptroller General. Yeah. And the comptrollers of each of the states. Yeah. They do these reports. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then uh, they're supposed to decide, well, mm -hmm. did you actually spend the money for the purposes that were, mm -hmm. were described in the actual law itself? Or did you expend the money? Yeah. And you did it with something else. Yeah. You, know, you didn't spend it on actually what you should, you should have spent it on. <clears throat> of all the acts yeah known as public laws the mm -hmm, victims protection act yeah the violence against women's act yeah the parental kidnapping protection act yeah mm -hmm. the um relocation act yeah the parenting plan act oh and then the uh, uniform child custody jurisdiction enforcement act yeah mm -hmm. um how many of these laws have an actual requirement of the controller mm -hmm. To decide, well, did you spend the actual money the way you were supposed to? Or mm -hmm, did we just give you the money and used it for whatever you wanted? <laughs> now, now, a report, which not later than six months after the date of the enactment of this act. Yeah. Mm -hmm. January 8th of 2008. The Comptroller General shall submit a report to Congress describing the findings of the audit conducted pursuant to subsection A. Yeah. But this Congress seems to be busy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're not really able to read all these reports. No. You know, if I went through all the federal laws because I want to, yeah. <laughs> could the military get a copy of each and every federal law that requires some sort of auditing of the actual funds? Yeah. And then how many of these individuals in Congress actually have the time necessary to read all of these? <laughs> now, as I've gone through the federal laws, yeah, there seems to be, well, maybe 50 to 100 of them. <laughs> And I know how busy Congress is. In fact, I was looking at your penmanship. Yeah. Now, uh, determine the type of computer hardware and software that will be used to operate the National Instant Criminal Background Check. Yeah. Could you get me any hackers into that? Yeah. And then there's a state criminal record system. Uh -huh. Any hackers there? No. See, a lot of organized crime, if they thought, well, Paul got arrested a few times and we could just hack in and change all that. Yeah. Maybe maybe I got prosecuted, <laughs> and uh, we could change all that. Yeah, or I did a 1077. Ooh, oh, oh, went to Western State Hospital for a few years and mm, got different kinds of um, psychotropic or psychotic treatments against my will. <laughs> you know, being employed in, in organized crime, yeah. anytime there's an IP address that made an adjustment to any of the actual records, <laughs> of any state yeah i'm the kind of guy that organized crime would want to employ yeah now of course you you do a background check on me and say no there's no possible way they changed anything but if i was really that psychotic yeah 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 <laughs>